about Paul Ricard. Formula One Championship returns to Circuit Paul Ricard for the French Grand Prix 2021. For those of you veteran fans of the sport, you know that Paul Ricard is quite different from the other circuits in the calendar. With its elongated shape, with a 1.8 km long straight, with its blue and black striped runoff area and several racing lines in some of the sectors, this is not your straightforward Formula 1 track. Qualifying position critical. I believe the qualifying is going to be critical here. Overtaking is going to be extremely difficult with fast entry and slow exits to many of its corners and therefore the qualifying performance is going to be critical. Continuing saga of Red Bull vs Mercedes. Horner and Wolf have been having a lot of banter in the past few weeks. I expect it to continue this weekend as well. We could see Mercedes continuing to perform poorly and Red Bull continually improving in Paul Ricard the coming weekend. Flexiving issue is not likely to die down anytime soon and later down the line when each point matters we could see the rivalry getting uglier. Max vs Lewis Like Horner and Wolf, Max and Lewis also had a lot of banter leading to Baku and after Baku. Max even said he would be faster than Lewis in a Mercedes in response to Lewis talking about the Red Bull advantage. But on track, I don't think we will see it getting ugly yet. We could see both fighting for a lead hard but fair. And with Paul Ricard anyway being a hard track to overtake, we might not see much wheel to wheel action. The real battle in my opinion would be qualifying. Norris vs Bottas vs Perez With the top two more or less set for the rest of the season, we might see exciting fight for number three in the championship. Perez will be coming into Paul Ricard on a high, winning the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, but his instructions this weekend is unlikely to change. Try to create problems for the mugs. With the form Red Bull is in currently, we might see him fighting for another podium and maybe even splitting Hamilton and Bottas. Norris, on the other hand, had a sub-optimal race in Baku. He said he was satisfied with the way he recovered in the race, but he would be looking forward to getting back in form in Paul Ricard. And lastly, Bottas had a terrible 2021 season so far, and Baku was the arguably his worst performance this year. He would be desperate to perform well this weekend, but I don't see him making to the podium in Paul Ricard either. Ricardo improving. Ricardo is another driver who had a bad start to the 2021 season. Norris lapping him on one of the races really added insult to the injury. McLaren says they don't have a number one driver but they have a history of favoring their British driver over the other one. In my view, Norris is clearly their number one driver. After Monaco, Ricardo even said he was puzzled by the gap between the two McLarens on a track where he had won previously. After Baku, Ricardo said that the triple header in France and Austria will be good for his form and it will be a breath of fresh air to have tracks with wide runoff areas after two back-to-back -back street tracks. I don't see him finishing in top 5 coming Sunday though, but Ricardo has always surprised us F1 fans and analysts. I seriously hope he get back to form soon. Ferrari and Binotto After the Baku weekend, Binotto was clearly not a happy man. He knows that Ferrari at this point is not as fast as McLaren. But they did finish in third position after Baku. This was more because of McLaren's poor performance than because of Ferrari's pace. I see Ferrari making further improvements ahead of next weekend, but probably slipping to fourth after the race on Sunday. So, 
that's it for my predictions for the 2021 French Grand Prix. Drop a like if you agree, leave a comment if you have any predictions and hit subscribe if you like to see more of race reviews, predictions and F1 game content. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay safe.